Okay, this is uh, video number one uh, review for the common exam for Chem 7. Super critical review. All right, remember at the beginning of the year when we got into electron configuration, I told you guys you should be able to run the first four periods of the periodic table in under two minutes. I wasn't joking about that. Uh, you need to review your electron configuration and make sure that you're really good at it and that it doesn't matter which of these elements that you have to write it for. Remember the period numbers that uh, give you the horizontal rows going across represent the energy level that is being filled as you move left to right across the periodic table. Uh, the group numbers uh, give you the valence electrons so group number gives you the valence, valence electrons, and tells us F, and gives us F as well. All right, although I don't think you're going to need to know F for the uh, common exam. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and practice some of these. We're, we'll start with lithium here, and we'll just run some configurations. So lithium has an atomic number of 3. So its configuration is going to be uh, 1s2, 2s1. Remember, you can identify an element based on the configuration by simply adding up the total electrons that are in the configuration. So we see that there's one electron here in the valence and two electrons in the core. So that's a total of three, which, which mat matches with the atomic number and um, we are going to review, so I'm going to I'm going to combine a bunch of different things. So I'm underlining the valence there, and the one s two electrons here are the core. All right, and so let's go jump a little bit further along here. So uh, the next example will be boron. There's a total of five uh, five electrons. This is going to be one s two, two s two, two p three. No. You catch me there? Okay, I'm wondering. You got one eye open, playing your video games or whatever. So we have a total of four here that we've used so far. So there needs to be one more electron. All right. Uh, now again, the valence is going to be here. All right, and the core. I'll just circle the core. These are the core electrons. Again, we can identify boron just based on the electron configuration by simply counting the valence, or excuse me, counting the total electrons. We have one here, and two is three, and two is five, which matches, again, the atomic number. All right, let's skip to nitrogen. It has a total of seven electrons. So this is going to be 1s2, uh, 2s2, 2p. You got it yet? What is it going to be? Three. All right, so three and two is five and two is seven. All right, we'll underline uh, the valence. Here are the valence electrons. Here are the core, the two core electrons. All right, again, we can identify nitrogen as the element by simply counting up the electrons that are, that are represented by the configuration. So it's three and two is five and two is seven. All right, now, uh, let's briefly, we did, we talked about this in the fall. You guys know that I'm not big on this notation, but let's review it. Um, we can use the noble gases to write a shorthand, um, a shorthand notation. So if we were to look at lithium, all right, you can see that the noble gas that precedes it is helium. So we would write it this way. And helium, rep it has, you know, two electrons, right? So... Uh, this represents the 1s2, and so for the rest of lithium, we would write uh, 2s1, where the, the, uh, the 2s1 represents the valence electrons, right? And the he here, the helium in the brackets, represents the core electrons, right? Expanding on this, so this would be for lithium. Expanding on this, we could write um, L, or, excuse me, helium like this, and then Boron is going to be 2s2, uh, 2p1. So this would be the um, shorthand notation for, uh, for, for boron. All right, And to apply this down the line a little bit more, like if we look at sodium, for example, which we know has 11 electrons, 
All right, let me write it this way. Uh, the, the noble gas that precedes it has 10 and it would be neon. So we would write NE like this, right? There's 10 electrons here, so that takes care of the core. And so all we have to write to finish uh, sodium would be the valence, which is going to be 3s1. And again, it, this is the valence. I'm just going to underline it to emphasize that, all right? Um, similarly, we could, we could go deeper into this. Um, we could look at potassium, which has 19 electrons. And the uh, element that precedes it is argon and uh and the 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 valence for for this is going to be 4s1 and we can go ahead and underline it all right you need to review this this is super critical right i'm not wasting your time you need to review this so you can recognize elements you should be able to recognize them based on just being given a configuration and you should be Totally solid if, if somebody hands you a shorthand notation, you should be able to figure out what that is. All right, and I think with that, I'm going to go ahead and close this video.